Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take action on your findings directly from a Click Cloud Analytics app by integrating Click Automate into your analytics workflow. So first, let me show you a completed example, and then we can dive into a simple example on how this is done. Okay, so allow me a few minutes to provide you with the complete demonstration. Just note that this example is using a extension created by Riley McDonald. And this extension is called the Automation Trigger. And I'll make it available for you where this video is posted, but you can download it, you can add it to your extensions within your tenant if you wish. But basically, this is a polished and flexible way to embed user-driven automation calls inside a ClickCloud Analytics dashboard without having to write any custom code. It has the ability to use form inputs, bookmarking, conditional logic, and you can even perform UI customization of it. And it just allows you to build more interactive actions to kick off backend processes provided by Click Automate. So that's exactly what I'm doing here when I click on that send message button. And this is an example of that form action with a pre-filled email message. So as an order fulfillment manager, I'm responsible for the fulfillment of orders. This dashboard is giving me an indication that we have a particular order here that is past the eight week threshold. So by analyzing and looking at this order and providing selection and then clicking the send message button, it's gonna take the data and send it over to a click automate flow. But here I have a pre-filled email message. It's got the order number. And in here, it has a little message saying, thank you for your patience, et cetera. I'm just gonna show you that this is live by putting in a real message in here. And then click send message. Now what's happening under the covers, I have the automation running and you can see here, it actually just finished now. You can see message has been sent. If we look at it, this is the automation that's running and if I go to my email inbox, you can see the message just came in. Now I'm sending this to a test email called Donkey Kong Click. Obviously when selecting the order, the email address of the customer would have been passed along and could be sent dynamically. Okay, so that's just a quick example of how that's working. If you wanna see a little bit more, let me edit the sheet. So just to show you what's happening under the covers, I'm gonna select the button, click edit properties. Since this is a master item, I just have to edit this as a master visualization. And there's a number of different properties for the automation trigger extension, which we're not really gonna go into uh, directly. That's something you could explore on your own, but it basically allows me to kick off that automation. And you can see there's a form here. I have my inputs. Here's where the actual message gets created to be filled within that form. You can see the form type is a text box, but it could be a checkbox, date picker, drop down, slider, etc. And then if we go to automation, you can see that it's kicking off customer in progress email. And that's the name of the automation that we have here. So now we're gonna go into the basics of setting that up. So I will see you on the next video.